And by I the way, free the... free ride dicks. Free ride free dicks, ride man. Dicks. Yeah, yeah. I told you one time I was in um Switzerland. Why you say that? Well, because I seen some interviews about how you you heard Rod Diggs and um, oh yeah, we was in Switzerland. Yeah, and overseas. I heard Rod Diggs and 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 um yeah, because you know Murder has a nice following overseas. Yeah, and as well as a lot of artists. And you know, one day we was in front of a, a nice hotel in the car pull up, and it was some white boy and he was playing Rod Diggs and uh, uh um and um and Murder. Mm-hmm. And it, you know what's the interesting thing about thing about overseas like. It'd be Caucasian people, Asian people, you know, people of all kind of races that really know their hip hop. Like I done met white boys overseas and they talk about Daz Effects and J. Ruder Damager and K KRS One. They know their hip hop because, you know, the younger generation, it feels like sometimes we're trying to forget the legends. Like sometimes, you know, when they say, Oh, these niggas washed up or whatever, but the legends that paved the way, like you always gotta kinda salute them. So out overseas, that's why I love overseas because they really love hip hop. Because mm-hmm. that's what we started off doing. Like we love hip hop, being in the basement, listening to records and shit like that. One of my uh, YouTube members, um, his name is Alan Self. Mm-hmm. He actually sent me a video mm-hmm. that had well, you were you and Fifty Buster Rhymes were in the club together, and he challenged you and Fifty to a versus against him and Spliff Star. Uh, it wasn't. I, I don't feel like it was a challenge. I, you know, Fifth told him, I could do this shit better than you. No, you saying, yo. I'm spitting Buster shit. Niggas just fucking around. But I mean, I think 50's on a level where he'll never do a versus, bro. He's not interested in certain things like that. Like, I, I just think, you know, that guy sold a lot of records. He gets a lot, a lot of money. And not saying that anything is wrong with verses, I just think he's not interested in doing it. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't think he's gonna ever do it. I, I don't think, think a lot a reason, of artists. Yeah, there's a reason it's, for him it's to do a it. dope thing. But what was the last dope verses? That was Bone Thug and who was the last one? What was the mm, last one? I think uh, Dipset and uh, the Locks. Yeah, I was, think was verses was more of a thing like when we was in the house for COVID. Yeah, like because we couldn't go outside, we was quarantined. It's still dope, you know. Shout out to Swiss and Timberland, you know what they did, and they make money and you know created a big company. So salute to them, like they getting money, so. I can't knock them. But what I'm saying is when we was inside the house of COVID, a lot of things like OnlyFans and uh, uh, Versus, <laughs> I think it was more like a little more interesting because you were stuck in the house. Yeah. It still is interesting. Like I would check out a dope Versus. I just don't think 50 or Bevy be interested in it. Well, I think that if it was an actual Versus between, you know, 50 and Buster, I, I think 50 would get it. Just because I think 50 has bigger songs. Right. You know Buster, what I'm saying? Buster got hits too. They, yeah, you know, Buster has a, a huge amount of hits, but Buster's Buster. never gone diamond. Right. Yeah, yes. Yeah, it's, it's, you know it's, what I'm it's, saying? It's I think Buster's a great entertainer. I think entertainment wise, a live show, Buster, I'd probably give the edge to Buster. Like when, you look, so, when you look at the first weeks of hip hop before before the streams, what was the biggest week? Wasn't it Eminem? Yeah. And I always have this Eminem argument. People are like, I don't they sleep on Eminem, but he's doing what, six point two billion on Spotify still? Uh, we had Eminem. You had no matter if it was Snoop, M, Fifty, and maybe the Kanye and um Fifty week. Those were like the three biggest weeks, first weeks. Yeah. Remember, Fifty did what a million on Get Rich or Die Trying, right? M mm-hmm. did a million on his on his album, right? Snoop did a million his first week on. How, how many artists did a million their first week? Look it up, because artists be or rappers, rappers who sold. A million their first week. First week. Did Lil Wayne do it? Lil Wayne possibly did it, but I know it was Snoop, Eminem. I think it was Snoop, Eminem. Here we go. I got it. Eminem, 1.78 million for uh, MMLP. Well, what is that? Let me see. The Mar- Marshall Mathers LP. Yeah, there we Marshall go. Mathers there LP. we go. Yeah, I'm bugging. I'm just- Hot right now. <laughs> and then Eminem is also number two, 1.32, 1.32 million for TES. Okay. What is that? Hold on a second. Eminem, TES. The Eminem show. Yeah, the Eminem show. Okay, there we go. So the Marshall Mathers, Ma- the Marshall Mathers LP, 1.78 million first Big week. Big boy numbers. The Eminem show, 1.32 million first week. Big boy numbers. 50 set, number three, 1.14 million for the massacre. Big boy numbers. What about- Give Although it said- Four days, meaning that he didn't get the full week. Okay. So, mm. what about so, what about Give Richard Dodd trying? 
Drake views 1.04 million. Lil Wayne Carter three 1.01 million. Get Rich or Die trying. What about uh, Snoop should have been on that list too, no? Uh, let's see. Because Snoop did a million cents. Because I remember it was the first one was was Snoop, Drake. I mean, M, 50, and Snoop. Get Rich or Die trying did 872,000 copies this first week. Still huge numbers. We give it a mil. <laughs> Round it up. Just Round it up. Mil. What about Snoop? Which one, Doggy Style? I think Doggy Style did like a mill the first week, or close to it. 806,000. Come on, bro. Big boy Those numbers. Those are active. Big boy numbers, bro. Yeah. Come on, bro. 